Trying out a new thing today. I've got a lav mic on. Hopefully that will sound a lot better than the on-camera mic for the 7D, which isn't great. Uh, first thing we gotta do, of course, every single time I wanna take a card out of this machine, regardless of if I've screwed it in or not, I have to take this stupid plate off. I'm thinking I'm just gonna omit this plate in the future and just screw in cards like a normal person. One screw per card. Might be kinda nice. Anyway, the uh, GeForce 4 4200 Ti is coming out. And the 9700 Pro is going in. We'll just have to see how easily it wants to go in. Like I mentioned before, this case, there we go. This case isn't uh, ideal for putting cards in and out. For some reason, this, the way that this back plate and stuff works, it's, there just isn't clearance to just drop a card directly into the, into the into the machine. Yeah. So, now we got our 9700 in there. 9700 Pro. Let's benchmark it. And of course, that means we've got to plug in all the fun stuff. It needs electricity. It needs a keyboard. It needs a mouse. Well, it doesn't really need a mouse. And of course, video output. Cha-ching. But will it boot? Will he change the lighting? Yes, he did. Boot. Come on. You have not connected the power extension cable to your Radeon 9700 video card. Oh boy! I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, so in here somewhere. We've got regular floppy four pin header. Molexy thing. Slam that onto the card. And now we can turn it on. Beep. We're booting. So I'm going to do something a little uncouth. Uh, I'm just going to install the catalyst drivers for the ATI card on top of the NVIDIA drivers. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> uh, these are whatever the latest that uh, ATI or AMD these days has recommended to me. So their version 12 or 10 or I think they're 12.0. Um, yeah. In my research and in my experience, ATI drivers, oh, uh, continue, are, well, the latest version is usually the best version as opposed to NVIDIA, which, mm, who knows? <laughs> kind of depends on uh, what games you're running. 
with NVIDIA drivers, or at least it seems that way. I'm going to have to hit continue a lot, aren't I? Luckily, we're only minutes away from benchmarking. Hooray! So we're going to be benchmarking the 9700 Pro. And I said I would wait until I had the Fire GL X1 working. But I figured I might as well get it done. The numbers aren't going to change. So might as well do it today because I'm bored. So I'll still be able to compare these numbers to the GeForce 4, uh, 4200 Ti, um, and, and when, if and when, I get the uh, the X1 working, then I'll be able to compare them to those as well, which is the main goal, the final goal. Seems so far away, like it's like it's not going to happen, but it will happen. It's got to happen, right? Apparently, I need .NET Framework, but the drivers will still work, right? Right? All right, we got the right resolution. I've got 3D Mark 3 also installed on here now. Uh, I did the benchmarking for the GeForce 4 with both, well, last video was 01 SE, um, and then I, after that, uh, benchmarked with uh, 3D Mark 3 So... Hmm. Okay. Frames aren't as uh, high as I expected. Maybe. I don't know. Interesting. I just feel like I might have had higher frames on that first section with the G-Force, which doesn't really make sense, but oh boy, chugging. Huh. Guess we'll have to see what the scores say. Um, either I'm making stuff up, or maybe there's a driver issue possibly surely not I mean it wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that I just installed ATI drivers over the top of NVIDIA drivers right that wouldn't be a problem hmm that looks good though huh interesting only uh, 100 more, well, a couple hundred more almost, um, marks than the GeForce 4 4200 Ti. I was expecting quite a bit more, but, hmm, interesting. I always viewed the higher-end 9000 series as a far superior card uh, to, say, the GeForce 4 series, um, as it probably should be. I think they're basically different generations, right? Am I wrong? Am I getting my timelines all mixed up? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Well, I know I'm crazy, but... Um, I'll... Uh, run 3D Mark 3 now and we'll see what that gains compared to the uh, GeForce. Yeah, I guess this is the end of the video. <laughs> I didn't really have a 
uh, a fun, clever way to end it, but there you go. There's the 3D Mark 01 SE uh, benchmark with the 9700 Pro. Oh, and if I didn't mention it already, I'm trying out a new microphone today. It's a vintage realistic from Radio Shack. Lavalier. Great focus. Ooh, pretty. Look at that thing glow. Very nice. So hopefully this will be my go-to microphone for these sort of videos. I can plug it directly into the Canon 7D and everything seems to work fine. The levels look all right. Um, well, so far we'll see how the footage actually turns out. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, okay, new mic. Gosh, how long is this benchmark? Oh my god. Elephant butt. Holy moly. 4,224. Well, that's a lot better than the GeForce 4, which only hit 1,564. Okay. That makes sense now. Everything's okay. <laughs>